crepes is something like you can eat sweet savory and you can put whatever you like inside if you like fish you can put fish inside if you like to be vegetarian you can make a vegetarian if you like to be sweet and have like cheesecake inside you can put the cheesecake inside and make it delicious decorate it's gonna be amazing you can make it very cheap you can make very expensive depends what is your wish and i like that about crepes In the Serbia, uh, you need to make decision what you're gonna be in the life when you go in the high school. If you going would like to be like uh, architect, you go to school for architecture. And I make decision to go to restaurant and hospital and tourism, and that was my passion, and I would like to be there. After finish the high school. I go to Belgrade, start to study restaurant management and hospitality. My major was culinary. When I was in the middle of the, of the study in the Belgrade, I apply uh, like some student uh, program and I work in the Grand America for four months. After graduation, I come back here and stay there almost like six years. That's, that's like Grand America is, is beautiful place to work and grow. When I come here, I realize people don't have the crepes. It's not usual for us. My mother make two times in the week crepes from us and it's the big family gathering when it's the crepes because that is like whole kind of process you enjoy and one person making, another one is rolling, put the condiments inside and they really enjoy it. You come here, baking is something like you have everywhere but no crepes. After a couple months, after one year, I see opportunity and I have knowledge how to do it, how to make the crepes. I make deal with some uh, restaurant. I ask him if I can sell crepes Friday and Saturday after 5 p.m. And this was really beautiful experience. Lots of people come, test the crepes, and I start to create the recipes in, in that spot. After two, three months, how much was there, I have opportunity to uh, step up on the bigger position in the Grand America and I take that position but I realize I realize very fast to is not for me and uh, my bigger stuff is something to build and grow by my my knowledge I also start to do more crepes after 2016 we start slowly to do catering I also do my first event. In that moment, I was have just like small Yamaha scooter, like Vespa, and we make uh, first events was the Sugar House of Fourth uh, of July. Buying grocery, I do on the scooter, put in my bag, delivery once, go back, and like so many time, and that really was really was hard time. I remember in the moment when we finished the, uh, that one event, uh, I go to the person who we do that event together she would support me at that moment really really a lot of and like we split money we make it break and even and we make some money but no was nothing huge was in that moment really really like small one i coming back and my scooter died <laughs> on the way and be like wow like and all the money I make, I gonna put back in, in the to fixing the scooter.
I was really, really lucky. In the moment when I made the decision to open catering company and start to make the crepes, and I ask a person who has become my father, here like father in the USA, uh, like say business father, I ask him, can I make the crepes and use your kitchen? And he just take the keys and give to me and say yes. Whenever you like, when I'm not here and you know, use it, you can do whatever you want. And that's for me was really huge to at least one person believe in, in me. He tell me like I see myself in you and I believe that's that's the reason like uh, he who helped me. This is like was like huge belief to somebody put you in the house and say my casa, your casa and and uh, you start to grow and you know the, some person to you can knock on the door and say what I need to do next, do I do great, what is my solution and uh, and that was for me Alfonso Torres here on the Sil Walter Candy Company. It's very important to you have the person who's gonna just push you. That's that's all sometimes what you need. We start to do events and uh, uh, I buy the comment uh, car was Elantra and uh, I put in everything in the trunk, put put everything everything in, like in the back seats. But how we grow with that one. 10, 15 people, we have events, we be bigger and bigger and everything cannot fit anymore. Oh, I remember all the coolers, all the stuff. And he says, hey, I have some trailer and I would like to give you, we know use, is like need to be a little bit to fix, but it's like good. And uh, I say, yeah, let's do it. But I remember uh, how it was very hard to put hitch on the Elantra to pull the, the, pull the trailer. We, we install everything and start to use, and really was nice for us. After so many that's farmers market events, uh, we realized people like our food, but they cannot be uh, eating crepes every day or every week or even every month. I make decision to open the first crepe shop, and I realized that this place is gonna be like very, very, very popular in the future. We take the place 2019 to meet my new place. Take us approximately six months to rebuild it. I was surprised to I need to learn how to be architect, how to do construction and everything. We opened on the April uh, 23rd and it was amazing. We have a lot of people who follow us on the Instagram and they really support us. They start to share pictures of our food, they start to share to we are open and uh, most of our my friends or the people who follow us know the process how we growing and uh, i would like to thank them for the all support to give us and uh, be with us and uh, help us we are not here about them making money we are here to satisfy uh, customer enjoying delicious crepes